Your support is important to me. Please subscribe to my channel. I try for you. Brandon Lee is an American actor and martial artist. As a schoolboy, the future actor performed on the stages of small theaters. After, Brandon Lee went to Hollywood in search of good luck. There he was accepted not as an independent person, but as the son of the great actor Bruce Lee. After several unsuccessful roles in the films Criminal Assassin and Kung Fu, the movie cut, Brandon Lee left for China, where he received the first leading role in the film set up. Soon, the actor returned to Hollywood again, and after several years of failures, his breakthrough role in the action movie Showdown in Little Tokyo becomes a breakthrough. After the success, Brandon Lee starred in the film White Fire where he himself thought through all the fight scenes. Finally, the status of the star for Brandon Lee was supposed to be fixed by the film The Crow. On his birthday, February 1, 1993, the actor went to shoot the picture. On March 31, 1993, a terrible thing happened on the set. The actor died 12 hours later. He was 28 years old. The Crow was released in 1994 and was dedicated to Brandon Lee and his fiance. The actor did not live to see his own wedding for 17 days. Corey Monteith is a Canadian actor and musician. He is best known for his role as Finn Hudson in the television series Glee, in which he starred from 2009 to 2013. Prior to his acting career, Corey Monteith worked as a school bus driver, taxi driver, roofer, and shop barker. From 2004 until the end of his life, the actor managed to play about 30 roles in films and TV shows, such as Smallville, Invisible, Supernatural, and others. On July 13, 2013, Corey Monteith was found dead in a hotel room. The cause of his death was toxic poisoning of the body after the use of illegal substances and alcohol. The actor was 31 years old. Ruslana Korshinova is a Kazakh model of Russian origin. The young girl became widely known after she entered into advertising contracts with the brands Vera Wang and Nina Ricci. In 2003, her photos were noticed by a representative of a large advertising agency which subsequently signed a contract with her. In 2005, Rizlana was named one of the New York Fashion Week highlights. By 2008, the model took part in advertising campaigns for more than 10 brands, appeared on the covers of the French Ellie, as well as the Russian and Polish magazine Vogue. Rizlana Korshinova also participated in the casting for the role of the main character in the film Perfumer. On June 28, 2008, the model died in New York. The cause of death was a fall from the ninth floor. There are several versions of what happened, up to the criminal one. Rizlana Korshinova died four days before her 21st birthday. Despite the fact that Rizlana had recently lived in the United States, she was buried in Moscow at the Kavansky Cemetery. Aliyah Dana Houghton, better known simply as Aaliyah, is an American singer, actress, and model. At the age of 12, with the support of her uncle, who works in the music industry, Aaliyah signed a contract with two record companies. Her uncle also introduced her to R. Kelly, who became the songwriter and producer of her debut album. The album sold 3 million copies and was certified double platinum in the U.S. In 2000, Aaliyah starred in her first film, Romeo Must Die, and then played the title role in Queen of the Damned. On August 25, 2001, after filming the video, the singer and eight of her friends died in a plane crash. The young performer was 22 years old. After death, her music continued to live and be a success. Posthumously, eight releases were released and about 30 million copies of the singer's records were sold worldwide. 